Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, coming up to half past three here in the UK. Uh, and as you can see, markets have come off in the US strongly. Uh, in the first hour of uh, trading, uh, the S&P down uh, 55 points as we speak. Uh, so uh, 56 points at the moment. Uh, the trends on VectorVest are still hanging in there. So far, the short term trend is still up. All of the measures of the trend are still up. So uh, let's keep our eye uh, closely peeled on that. If we have a look at the VectorVest composite of the US, uh, and I've uh, in fact put on the medium term market timing system that I use for my swing trades, uh, known as the DEW. And that's still uh, printing an up signal. Uh, and uh, uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's still OK uh, to be uh, involved in the market. Hello. As you can see, the uh, uh, vector base advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. Clearly, that 4000 level uh, on the S&P 500 is going to take uh, quite a, a little bit uh, of uh, breaking. And as you know, the FOMC meetings are coming. Many people feel that old Paul is going to, in fact, try and take the wind out of the sails of the market. The market itself seems to think that the Fed is going to blink. Uh, so there's a big game of chicken going on. And sooner or later, uh, towards the end of the week, we should actually have a result. Uh, so uh, down 57 points as we speak. Now, uh, I've entitled uh, this video uh, uh, an amalgamation of uh, Vectorvest analysis and Wyckoff. And uh, uh, Richard Wyckoff was a technical analyst that lived 100 years ago, and he's written some magnificent work on the stock market. And I've been an addict of uh, Wyckoff for a very long time. When I was uh, doing the two day uh, live seminar uh, at Tampa in the US a few weeks ago, uh, I looked at three stocks that I found out of the VectorVest stock viewer. Uh, and the, the VectorVest stock viewer, as a default, rates all of the stocks in the US, 9,000 of them, uh, uh, by VST, and brings those with the best combination of VST to the top of the pile. And uh, I looked at the top 20 or 30, and Decker's, in fact, uh, uh, caught my attention. It's trading at 422. It was much less then. Uh, we believe it's worth 494, so it's undervalued. The RV, which is a measure of the share price appreciation potential over a corporate bond at 1.43 is really good. And the safety and the predictability of the earnings at 1.44 on a scale between zero and two is very good. Uh, the uh, uh, share, the short term trend is rising. The uh, longer term trend is rising. And uh, today it's got the fourth highest VST in the pack. We believe it's going to go earnings at 20% next year. So uh, both the fundamental position and the technical position, we can actually work out, looks really, really good uh, in uh, you know, a 20 second glance. So I, based on that, I loaded the chart. I think I've got it loaded already. Here it is. There's the chart. Now, this is the chart uh, of Decker's, and I always put this earnings per share on. If you look at it over a year, earnings per share is growing strongly uh, from $18 to $21. Uh, I always load my three moving averages, which are 21, 55, and 89. And where they all cross gives this wonderful change in trend, and I refer to that as a bow tie. And I like to be taking long trades north of the bow tie and short trades south of the bow tie. Am I right? Uh, so at this period, uh, uh, I was looking for any reason to go long. And when I was in Tampa, I noticed uh, this magnificent Wyckoff spring. And the Wyckoff spring is nothing more than a double test. Market comes back to that old top, then breaks up, and it pulls back and takes out these lows and then reverses. And uh, that is the spring. And from there, it invariably moves up quite quickly. So if you look upon it as a double bottom after the trend has started to move, that's pretty much what it is. But it, uh, in fact, uh, stops out all of the people uh, who in fact bought into here. So, uh, uh, and uh, I found it uh, an exceptionally useful setup. There's nothing more to it than that. However, actually buying right down there is quite difficult. 
emotionally. So my, my, my first law of swing trading is that the good trade is the hard trade. Uh, so it's always easy to buy on highs, but buy when it's falling like this is difficult, emotionally difficult. I want to fade the short term trend in the direction of the long term trend. And I want to put my entries right down there <laughs> where the masses put their stops. And uh, that's my three rules. So uh, I want to find a share one uh, that have got that's got great growth fundamentals and Decker fits the bill. I want to find a share that's rising in price. The long term trend is up and uh, my moving averages do that. I want to make sure the market is rising. Overall market is rising, it was at that point. And then I want to look for a really good entry. Many people would say that all you had to do was to buy that breakout. And that's exactly what, if you'd bought the breakout of that little flag pattern, then you would also made some money. But uh, the best entry was right down there, okay? No problem getting filled down there because there's lots of people running away. So uh, that's the Wyckoff Spring. It's pretty much the only thing that works in the foreign exchange market. And if it works in the foreign exchange market, it'll work anywhere. Uh, so uh, first thing to make sure, folks, is you're dealing in a share with strong growth fundamentals. And uh, in the city, in Wall Street, the only reason they buy into anything is the company's going to make more money this year, next year than it did this year. And our earnings per share uh, growing strongly like, like that uh, is a very strong sign that profits are going to be better in the future. Uh, I want the share to be rising. My company could be making lots of money and nobody cares. Uh, I want the share price to be rising and I like to take long trades north of my bow tie. Where did I put the bow tie? Just there. And then I want to look for a setup. Now I probably make it too difficult. Uh, uh, I like to get in right at the cusp of the turn and my spring does that. A market comes down, takes out all the obvious stop losses. That's the ideal place to buy. And frequently it happens around the 55 period moving average. Now, uh, if you want to take that setup and apply it to a five minute chart of any market, it will work, but it works better in the share market where you can integrate three things. One, great fundamentals, strong trend in the share, and then a strong trend in the overall market. When you tick those three boxes, you get very lucky indeed. So I hope you find that useful. There was a time I was so excited about the Wyckoff Spring that I, that I, I, I said I'll never show this to anybody. Uh, but as you get older, that becomes less important. Uh, thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.